Bams has been permanently banned from playing Call of Duty. I decided to investigate the streamer Bams after receiving many requests from the community that he was cheating in Call of Duty. Big breaking news. Bams banned live. Permanent ban live while streaming on Twitch. I told everybody the dude's a cheating son of a... Yo, what up, it's your boy Bam, and man, is this video gonna be interesting. You can see the title, you might have seen like a weird thumbnail, I don't even know what the thumbnail is gonna be. Today, I'm gonna address a lot of things, especially things that have happened in the past three days. I've seen a lot of recent YouTube comments on my recent videos, and there's just been a lot. <laughs> so, we're gonna go through it. You guys might have seen this clip right here. It's been posted on YouTube, it's been posted on Twitter, TikTok, and then there's people messaging me on Instagram. A lot of people confused, and then a lot of people just jumping on the board when they have all right to. So, I'm gonna play the clip right now to those that are confused or don't know really know what's happening. Here you go. I just got fing permabanned. There is no way this just happened so that's the clip this clip once again is posted everywhere this video has 500,000 views and that's only just my clip that's only my tweet everyone's been posting it so of course once again a lot of people jumped on the board my replies and messages are flooded right now and i just want to explain a lot so i did get banned on call of duty and there's only two things that i can do whether people like to hear it or not i can either one defend myself or two just own up to something that is not true and that is cheating in call of duty i feel like it's safe to say and i have full right to say that this video is for the people not only that watch me that actively watch my videos my streams my supporters but also to the people that are like stuck in the middle that want to hear both sides you know you see this clip you see youtubers posting the clip making eight minute videos when this clip is only 13 seconds long and that thought about just instantly jumping the boat of like this guy is cheating he's been cheating for a very long time and we finally caught him this video is for those people the people that are in the middle and my supporters and i'm here to explain everything and i'm going to start off with showing these other two streamers that have had the same problem of getting banned on call of duty the first one is nate shot now nate shot was playing ranked play and then this happened You're an asshole bro you know that I just got banned as well. Later, Ned Shop. You've been disconnected from the servers. It's a pleasure. Or actually, I don't know if I got banned, but I got kicked. No, you got banned. If you're going you're gonna to be banned when you get back on. All right, let's go. Finally get some street cred for this Chronos I've had plugged in. Wait, yeah, what the hell, bro? You know, he's just, he's just memeing. You know, everyone in the chat is like deserved. No way. LOL. Everyone's just like laughing. You know, everyone is just like, there's no way that this just happened to Nate Shot, who is a former pro that's been in the Call of Duty scene for a very long time. An owner of an organization, one of the biggest gaming organizations, 100 Thieves. There's no way this happened to him. There's no way he got banned on Call of Duty. Now we're going to look at another streamer by the name of Octane. He goes by 100 Thieves Octane. He's also in 100 Thieves. And then uh, this happened on stream. One shot, mid map, bookie. One stop there as well. Yeah, I'm gonna order lunch. All right, let's do this, guys. Sorry, I was a little uh, unchecked. My wife came in with my daughter. I and I just got banned. Oh, yeah, you're good, bro. Wait, you're so good. you got banned? You know, I, I just don't get it, but like it happened, and it happened to some of the biggest streamers in call of duty right now you know it said like two or three days ago ricochet had some sort of buff like you know they're banning people you could see it all over twitter everyone's talking about it but the fact that it happening to one of the biggest streamers in call of duty nate shot octane is just concerning it's like how does this even happen a very well-known pro x pro how does it happen in the first place like no one really knows now if you just scroll to the vod I, you could just see that like it only really took octane like two hours to get unbanned you go to nate shots and then you can see that it only really took him like an hour i believe and then he got his account back so yeah. then there's me you know like someone that got permanent banned and then while these guys have gotten temporary banned i honestly believe that like overall both of these things should have never even happened banned temporary banned even shadow bans i feel like there's so many people that are in the shadow ban loop that have been rock with me for so long since last year on mw2 that understand what i'm talking about or maybe that just understand bans in general like all of this does doesn't make any sense if you go to my twitter and you look through the replies you can see that a lot of people are having this issue you can see the replies are kind of the same like a lot of people are having this issue if you just scroll down there's a bunch of screenshots perma band we got another band and i think it's very safe to say that like everyone has every right to just see permanent band and just be like dang that guy is cheating you're a 
fucking scum. You've been cheating with this entire time. You have aim by, you have walls. I feel like you have every right to believe that, but at the same time for someone to just call out someone that's been permanent banned, temporary banned, shadow banned, and you've never seen like any of their other gameplays or maybe have seen the actual clip to get them banned. What was the gameplay that caused a shadow ban for them? What was the gameplay that caused any ban at all? Like, what were you actually doing? And this is the part where I feel like I have the right to show just a whole bunch of clips from my past. What you'd be seeing on the screen right now is just a bunch of old clips from Call of Duty that I've gotten. Because to be honest, I was just a grinder. I was having fun. So many memories. World War II, Black Ops 4, Modern Warfare Remastered. All of these amazing Call of Duties. I had so much fun playing on console. Yes, this is console. And I've met so so many of my friends that are my best friends nowadays and i feel like there's maybe like a few people right now that watched me that have known me for a very long time i just honestly feel like it's right to show these clips as once again i have every right to just showcase what kind of gamer what kind of anything whatever you want to call me i was compared to nowadays and let's talk about that comparing comparing myself the content creator that i am now than what i was two three years ago four years ago with my biggest breakout it was on mono for 2019 and it was just hitting clips on mono for 2019 and it was just a lot of fun but i want you the viewer you the viewer that actively watched me for a very big period of time or maybe the viewer that actively watches me now i want you to answer this question was I not a better player back then than I am now? I feel like that's safe to say. I was crazy at like BO4, World War II on those console games. Hell, I was even better at Cold War than I am right now. Let me say this. How many of you guys have seen me in game? How many of you guys have seen me on Cold War? on Modern Warfare 2 2022, on Modern Warfare 3, or even older Call of Duties. I believe that some of you guys absolutely shit on me. That's how I see some of the things, because I don't win every game. Hell, I don't even get clips or gameplays every game. You could just watch a stream of mine, go watch a VOD back, just go watch a five-hour VOD that I did like a week ago, and that I made a whole video on. How long did it take me to make a video, right? I have people come to my stream and say, damn, does, this, does it really take this long to hit a clip? Or like, damn. Damn, you're f***ing washed. I'll start recording, acting like a bot on stream, and then there's someone that's just like, damn, does it really take this long to get reactions for acting like a bot or get a clip for acting like a bot? Does it take this long to make a whole video of acting like a bot? And I'm just like, yeah, like, this is just how I do it and how long it's going to take me because I just spend so much time on my videos. And that's why I, I feel like it's safe to say that I have, like, every right to defend myself and then we have like someone like this guy who just makes a video on me and then just tries to tear everything down he says this bam's here speaking of a nerd he needs to get his face punched in just joking i don't advocate violence towards anybody especially people who have mental health issues like this guy who has maybe suffered a head injury look like it i don't know you know what i mean come on the guy can't have all his anyways i digress I what the f like dude i don't <sighs> Dude, what did I do to this guy to just, like, physically make fun of me, bro? What <laughs> All right. Back to what I was saying. Another moment that our people are talking about are people think that they deserve their money back for a tournament that I won with my team. Stract, Arkin, Salsa, my teammates. We won a 4v4 tourney. Stiping only. It was a sore gaming $1,000. I put $100,000 because, I don't know, I guess I just felt like clickbaiting my stream because I didn't think that anyone actually believe it. Hence why 100000 is pretty exaggerated but this is like pretty big for the sniping community since the sniping community is very small but it was a one thousand dollar tourney now in this tourney as you can see i have my own money cam i'm doing money cam right now look at my money cam we have my main monitor we have my twitch chat and then we have obs as you can see on the right side so in this tournament i was asked by alistair who saw alistair himself a part of store gaming he told me to do a money cam and a full pc reset which i did including my teammates as well and then by the end of the tournament you know it happened we are front 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 lay down stand up don't chow salto don't chow do not chow do not chow i got front i got front nice bro holy good nasty oh my like, this is a tournament. This is my only tournament win. Do you guys understand that? This is my only tournament win.
ever. Some say I got carried. I had 23 kills. Shrak had 28. Salsa had 27. Arkan had 21. This is my only tournament win ever in Call of Duty. You type in BAM's tournament on YouTube and then you get all these videos. I played at a $150,000 S&D tournament. And if you were there for that, this was two years ago. This was on Vanguard. Does anyone remember exactly what happened in this tournament? We lost four to eight. We got double first rounded and I played like absolutely absolute dog shit i remember playing against scump i remember playing against so many other big creators and i got first rounded twice you scroll down you see i played in a fifty thousand dollar sniping tournament in this video i'll admit this was clickbait i believe that the earnings were only like a thousand dollars maybe two thousand dollars i believe it was max and i don't know if everyone remembers this video right here but in this video at the end of the video you can see my teammate shracked what does he say Man, undefeated tourney winners. That was a lie. Like this tournament didn't even finish. I believe, if I remember correctly, if you were there, I was the one getting hit off. There were hackers on Cold War at the time hitting me off. They were actively trying to hit me offline, and they were actively kicking me out of the game. And then the tournament got canceled. Does anyone remember what happened in the Bams vs. Phase and Optic for $150,000? You want me to tell you what only one good game I had? That was against Myth. This is the only gameplay in the tournament that I did well. 15 kills with Havoc on my team, Fortunate and FaZe Kaylee. The only good game that I had. I remember Havoc DMing me like, bro, you went absolutely insane. This is the only good game I actually had. Every other game, I get absolutely shit on. Three kills? We go down here. $2,000 tournament, I lost. I got fourth place or third place, I believe. Bams and FaZe, I party up with Fugitives. I believe I got like fifth place. Maybe this video is to just like, not only just call me like an average player, but like nowadays i just like making content and i hope everyone just realizes that i don't really care about being the best player anymore i feel like a lot of you guys can understand that there's a reason why i hosted my first ever 1v1 sniping tournament because i wanted to actually find other underrated content creators underrated snipers and those players in this were dj and sticks from the bracket as you can see from here you guys probably watching this video don't even know half of these people in this tournament i appreciate the compliments i appreciate the people that look up to me me that see me as this like most insane sniper you've ever seen but by showing clips from my past from showing clips from videos i just know that i'm not a player that i once was and on top of that from people that i played against who are my supporters because i don't really like calling them fans i believe i have like earned the right to just call myself a legit player i've only ever won one tournament in my life and that was last weekend i've been playing in tournaments for the past two years three years never won the big one and now there's one more clip before i disclose everything there's a clip called acting like a cheater and i got banned now if you look at this clip i'm gonna be showing maybe like half of the clip but here it is give him the black banana oh, yeah. oh. he's cheating his balls off Respect. I'm glad he's on my team. <laughs> For real. I'm glad he's on my team. We'll take him. Oh my oh, god. Oh, cheating. Cheating. Finally, we got cheating on our side. We, we don't condone it, but we're glad he's on our team. <laughs> okay. No, we condone it. We condone it. It's not a bad thing. Go. Run to the floor. That's whack. Yeah, he's cheating. That right there. Oh, the cheater. Cheat. That right there. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people with a brain. <laughs> Okay, I don't want I don't really want to insult anyone, but you can see that it's well edited. And I just feel like I don't have to explain myself. But like here's the actual clip. Here is the actual clip of me acting like a hacker. I put emphasis on that because people are gonna say, well, this aged well. So this is how the clip actually looks like. Raw, uncut, and I'm gonna be describing it a little bit because obviously only you can see is a vertical screen. You don't see anything else, you don't see a radar on your screen, you see none of that. So as you can see, I have a radar up on the screen on the top left, so I'm trying to wall bang it. Oh he's really, God. yeah, he's just shooting through all the walls. It's crazy. So as you can see right here, I get the kill. My aim is absolutely horrible on top of that. I look at my radar. I see there's one right here where my mouse is over here on the left side and then behind me. So on the radar, there's three red dots and then I flick to my left, oh. right? And I'm not even flicking to the point where he is. I'm flicking over here and he's already he's like all the way over here somewhere but i'm flicking over here on top of that i see another guy right here so i flick that way 
and I still shoot over here. He's already over here, but I'm shooting over here. So I have my UAV up right here. I go to the left. I see there's one person in front of me, and then there's two people like around the map over here. Oh boy. I didn't realize how close he was. Shoot him. Already saw the guy on the radar when I was flicking to this guy. I already see this guy right here in front of me. Kill this guy. Go over here. Flick to the wall. I'm just going to assume that he's over here somewhere because on the radar, once again, if you look at the radar, he's over here somewhere. So he's already over here. I remember that. I kill this guy. Flick over there. He's not, he's not even over there. So they're all freaking out. They're all freaking out. I see this guy's the red dot is still right here on this side, but I assume that he's like over here and I feel like he's gonna like re this right here, right? He's gonna re it. No, 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 no. <laughs> see, I see the radar again. I see the radar sweep, so I go back to the left. Why am I going back to the left so long? I feel like he's about to chow right here so I can flick. But he's already over here. Oh, and then I finally kill him, and then that's the kill. And then, of course, once again, the way it's edited, it just looks even more sus. I have a whole bunch of comments. Everyone's saying, this didn't age well, and you got permabanned, pretending to cheat, but catch actually cheating. Like, it's just insane. So this next segment, I'm going to talk about my hand cam. I'm going to drop my face cam because it doesn't really matter. Bruh, look at this dude. Look at his hair. <laughs> Eight thoughts already said I look like I have mental issues, so it doesn't really matter if I show my face or not. But now we're going to get into a game, and I'm going to be showing you guys how I silent shot. As you can see, we're in the game right now, and this is me playing. You know, I go up, down, left, right. This is me. This is me playing. And to those that are confused on what a silent shot is, basically what a silent shot is, if you aim in, you shoot, and you pull out your throwing knife, and you swap pretty fast. All right, that is what a silent shot is. You go over here, you shoot, pull your throwing knife, and then you swap, and that's how you scope out very instantly. People always question me, how do I do that? I'm trying to learn how to do that. But then there's people that think that I have a macro. Now, this is how a silent shot looks like. You aim in, you pull your throwing knife, and then you swap. With one hand, I'm going to be showing you that all you got to do is click your shoot button, which is this. You pull your throwing knife, which is this. And then you swap, which is my triangle button, right? So... Right here, we're gonna do, we're gonna slide my finger down and then I'm gonna swap. So you do it like this. That's how, that's it. That's all you gotta do. You shoot, pull your throwing up, and then you swap. So it looks like this. Just like that. And then once again, if I wanna do it with aiming in, I take all my fingers off my other buttons, I swap, I just aim in, and then I do that. It's very, very simple. And then it just looks like this. Once again, I just shoot, pull my throwing knife, and then I swap. I know I've said that a lot. I'm sorry, but I just wanted to confirm once again because people just think that is a macro when I've been doing it for a very long time. I honestly sucked at it on MW2. I just learned how to do it because I play Claw. This is exactly how I play. I've been playing like this for a very long time as well. Since like Martyr Party 4, I'm playing Claw since the GameCube. So I'm just going to show you how I do it like kind of fast. You know, I go over here. I silent shot that bot. I go over here, jump shot. Silent shot. We 360. We go over here. We silent shot that. Like, it's just pretty simple, honestly. So we're going to end that. We're on PC here, but I'm going to go on console now. All right, so here we are. We're on console now. I have a wireless controller. I don't need a wire. Just to prove again, once again, this is console. Right, left, right, 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 left, left, right, left, left. You know, this is me. Up, down, left, right. This is me. I'm on console. And then once again, this is how I silent shot. I just shoot to pull up my throwing up, and then I swap pretty simple i feel like everyone kind of knows how to do this now everyone's been seeing me do this for a very long time if you guys want me to upload a console video let me know in the comment section below i actually do not mind but once again this is on a console and i just do not mind doing the same exact thing that i've been doing once again all i do is shoot pull my thorn knife just slide my finger down and then i swap and it looks like this pretty simple it's easier when you play claw so those are the people that don't know how to sound shot. I'm teaching you how to do it. For the people that do know, you guys already know it's pretty easy to do, especially on controller. But yeah, I mean, I just wanted to show that and I just wanted to show a more of an explanation of the whole macro that everyone's been talking about for the longest time. But I'm over with that. Honestly, I just want to explain to everyone that yes, I did get banned, right? Do I think it was a false ban? I believe so.
And I have every right to say that just because I know that I'm not a cheater. And I'm going to keep saying that because I know I'm not. And that's all I can really say. To end it all off, I'm just going to say this. This video was for the people that are not only my supporters that maybe want an explanation. Maybe to my supporters that have been watching for a very long time that are confused. But to the people that are right down the middle. To the people that don't watch me, that saw the clip. You have every right to believe what you want. Not that you need it for me to tell you that. You have every right because you don't. But... I'm just going to end it off with you can just believe whatever you want to believe. From this point on, I know that I've made plenty of videos acting like a hacker. I've done like I'm cheating like clickbait videos when obviously they're just clickbait for fun. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can see that my titles can be very cool, but also very, very dog shit. I'm not going to lie. Half of the time, I don't even know what to title my videos. This one just says, I miss you. This one is spam the new sniper, new sniper, new sniper. This one is, I finally did it with a bunch of T's. This one's OMFG. And then we have clickbait videos like this. Fine, I cheat. And then people go to that video and they're like, wait, is he actually cheating? But once again, I'll end it off here. I don't really care to be the best player anymore. Very ironic because I have number one snipers still in my bio, but I'm just too lazy to change it. But I don't really care anymore. I feel like if anything, I cared like more back in the day when I was uploading like Cold War videos, Black Ops 4 videos. You can maybe once say that I was like very cocky, you know? But like nowadays, I really just care about like entertaining having fun making people laugh and i feel like videos like acting like hacker videos like hiring a coach on fiverr and trolling them videos like acting like a bot like i love making those videos because i know when people watch it they get to laugh and then i upload those videos where they're just somewhat nice clips you know i feel like a video like this throwback mono for 2019 video which I only played for like three hours because not only was I trash at it, but I was so bored and it just wasn't fun like it used to be. I don't take my time on those videos anymore. I feel like I take more times on videos that actually entertain me. I'm going in circles and I'm sorry. But one thing I won't be sorry for is apologizing for something that I know I'm not. I already know after this video, a lot of people are still going to make videos, going to try to prove me wrong, or I'll probably still get a couple hate videos. And I'm not trying to play like this victim or any of that stuff. It was pretty tough going through my phone and just reading a bunch of DMs, people telling me to kill myself, people giving me a picture of McDonald's app application i think which i think is hilarious honestly that part is hilarious not the first part and then there's those people that have my back which i appreciate a lot i'm gonna get this sorted either way i'm just gonna continue to have fun and do what i love and that's just creating content and i feel like this is a good way to just end off the video one thing that i do think is really really funny is everyone calling me perma bammed that is hilarious so if you guys made it this far at the end of the video i don't even care if you're a supporter i think that's hilarious comment down below perma bammed so i know you guys made it this far i might have to change my activision name to that because i think it's just hilarious let me know if you guys want a console video acting like a bot coming soon i love you guys so much the supporters have been stuck with me forever for the people that are against me i have nothing to say to you nothing bad to say other than i hope you have a good day if you guys want to see me get shit on on stream twitch.tv slash bams with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one much love peace out give me that fist bump